What do you get, ladies and gentlemen? Lycos here, and today I'm going to be talking about end game tips and tricks, horde strategies, best weapons at end game, and best skills at end game. Now, before I get into that, I want to touch on a few things that you should do before you go into the second map, which is I would recommend that you get Mike's and Tucker's camp up to level three just so you can unlock all the weapons in Tucker's camp and so you can unlock all the bike upgrades in Mike's camp. I would also recommend that you do all the activities that are on the map like the side missions, uh, the nests, enemy camps, Nero sites. Now I recommend that you get all the best upgrades for your bike at Mike's camp but then as far as weapons go when you go to Tucker's camp I would recommend that you get either the MWS or the US 556 and then get the upgrade for the mag as well for whichever one you choose or if you choose both whichever you want and then also from Tucker's camp I definitely recommend that you get the MG45 and then get its uh, mag upgrade as well these are all really good weapons good fire rate good damage the one other thing that I recommend that you do before you move on to the second map is acquire this gun the SMP9 you get this one from killing four different hordes you'll get an achievement and then you'll get this gun which is a, a really great handgun maybe the best handgun that you can get in the game now quickly moving on to the horde strategies I'm gonna try and keep this simple for you alright when I start off fighting a horde I use an attractor that's the first thing I do toss out an attractor into the middle of them or close to them and then they all gather around the attractor they all attack the attractor and then I start tossing in explosives molotovs grenades pipe bombs whatever just toss them in blows up a good portion of the horde right away before they get their attention on you once they once you have their attention start running away obviously and what you can do is you can run them in a circle and then while you're running in them um, in a circle I usually try and find different choke points that I can run them through so they all group up together and then I have a much easier job of shooting the horde as they run through because they're all masked up and then I can also throw in more explosives and blow them up uh, try and run them past like explosive barrels and stuff like that to blow them up but getting the horde grouped up is the best thing to do as much as you can have the horde in one big group close together and that way you can when you're shooting them you'll be able to kill a lot of them at once or obviously if you're throwing in explosives you're gonna kill a lot more if they're in a tight group than if they were all spread out now as far as weapons go for taking out a horde I would recommend anything with a really high rate of fire so MWS was good, I used that for a while. The US 556 as well with the upgraded mag is really good. And but the best weapon by far is definitely the Chicago Chopper. You get this pretty late into endgame. Um, you can buy it from a camp. I'll talk about this gun again later. And then for specials, you got the MG45 is pretty good once you can unlock it. And the RPD as well is very very good. There are three skills that I want to talk about with regards to taking on the hordes and those are up the ante gives you extra ammo you want as much ammo as possible when you're taking out these hordes. Two birds one bullet penetrating multiple zombies at once with one bullet that's great you want to when you got those hordes masked up that's excellent and the last one carry that weight gives you extra throwables it actually doubles your grenades your molotovs all that stuff which is absolutely excellent when you're taking out hordes especially when you're taking out the larger hordes now I talked a little bit ago about early game weapons now I want to talk about what I think is the absolute best weapons in the game you can get both of these weapons at the camp that's on the second map and these weapons are the RPD light machine gun excellent rate of fire excellent damage and then the Chicago chopper this thing is a beast this is by far the best weapon in the game just destroys everything it's absolutely excellent against bosses against the heavy freakers against bears this thing is a beast against everything hordes you can kill so many zombies in the hordes with this gun it is absolutely amazing get this gun 
as soon as it's available to you. Now for anyone that's interested in a more early game tips and tricks video, I actually have one of those on my channel and I will link it at the end of this video. But just to finish off here, I want to talk about a couple of different skills that I think are really important in endgame that you make sure you pick up along the way. Ear to the ground, you can see through walls, see enemies through walls, and that is very important for stealth element and very important for just knowing where your enemy is to at all times. Pick this up, you definitely won't regret it. And one more skill that I want to talk about that helps you out a ton in the end game is execution. Being able to take out a heavy freaker with a stealth kill is absolutely great. It helped me out in a lot of different situations. Heavy freakers can be such a pain to try and take out. They take a lot of bullets. Usually need to throw a Molotov on them to take them out. So instead of wasting your ammo, wasting your Molotovs, with this skill, you can just sneak up behind them, take them out, it helped me out in a lot of different situations. All right, everyone, that's just a few of my tips that I think will help people out a lot in Endgame. I hope you got some use out of this video. I hope it helped you out a little bit. If it did, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Later, everyone.